So, hi honeys, how are you? Tanya Dishailo Kia, and of course, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys? I hope that you are fine, amazing, popping, and all that other good stuff. Welcome back to another vlog. As you have seen from the thumbnail to the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a video of how to find your foundation shade in store over online in store or online yes so uh there are main reason that has prompted me actually to do this vlog it's because of the many questions that you guys have been sending me since you know that i'm a makeup artist tanya how can i you know uh, find my foundation shade when i go to the counter to buy makeup how can i know my foundation shade when i'm ordering it online on jumia.com or on chiku.com so i'm here to answer all those questions then on top of that i'm also going to be helping you how you know your under on. then on top of that help you give you tips on how to find your best foundation shade while you are at the counter in any drugstore before that if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please try to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell i'd love to be your, uh, your friend i'm a ugandan content creator kanya Shylock, of course my youtube channel name i'm a makeup artist i'm a beauty and lifestyle vlogger so i think you would love you know such content so please uh do consider subscribing to our youtube channel also make sure that you follow me on all my other social media platforms such as my instagram then on top of that my twitter handle oh sorry guys for interrupting this vlog but i would love to say that this vlog in particular i've partnered up with iacha beauty and cosmetics company to bring you this amazing video so if you don't know anything about iacha beauty and cosmetics company is an online beauty and cosmetic company which niches down to providing you authentic and yet very very affordable makeup products here in kampala on top of that they ship for you in a product that you need from europe down here in kampala how beautiful and how you know amazing is that then on top of that they have makeup bundles at a very very affordable price for makeup artists you know such as myself they sell foundation Maybelline foundation beauty blenders uh, mascara eyeliner nail paint lip paints of all types and colors and it's uh, all of them at a very 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 affordable price I'm gonna be leaving all their information in the description box below they have a whatsapp shop number you just order and everything reaches you where you are within Kampala yes so actually you guys the first tip that I would give you never match your foundation to uh, along your uh, forehead or around any part of the center of your face I'll request that when you are matching your foundation when you are buying it from any seller match it around this line this area uh, just between your jawbone and your main neck area it is very important to do it that way because most of the time our faces they have different parts of them which are light but this part of the face actually it has most of the parts which uh, resemble it you will find that under your eyes it's completely very very uh, you know lighter than other parts of your face but when you merge it with this and you use this foundation which you have merged with this color over here it will be easier for you to highlight you know when you are applying your concealer and at the end of the day it will match you very very well actually you guys another tip that i can give you when you forget to match your foundation with this area over here try to match it towards your hairline you know this area around your hair it is very very good to match it also around here when you buy it from the store for example if this is my foundation i've just bought i match it around this area it re it does the same effect as the prior one i've just told you about you know so when you apply your foundation generally when you reach at home it is easier to you know to highlight those parts of your face which are always brighter and uh it will not make sense when you buy a foundation which is lighter and you reach highlighting and actually when you highlight you are looking completely like something else if you know what i understand I, what i mean you know i think you have seen those people on streets which their faces are very 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 highlighted actually you guys the second tip i can give you never lie on the lighting in this beauty store for example when you enter in mulangira jewelry store there are a lot of different lights so you will be tricked and you will be tricked into that light knowing that when you apply your foundation it actually looks good on you 
you and yet when you move out you are going to be seen in broad daylight or the natural light so please consider that lighting inside the store should not lie you most of the stores have ring lights most of the store has these big big bulbs so make sure that at least you don't lie on the light inside but actually you move out of the store and you actually see how it does look outside because most of the time people are going to see you outside you know in lighting in the natural light and they are not going to be seeing you in ring lights you know so also that is the second tip i can give you just get a mini mirror move out in broad daylight see how it is looking come back for example at mlangila jewelry store there is a line there is a you know there is something like a corridor which actually gives a natural light in you can always go there look with a mirror uh, how the foundation has blended and actually you get to pick and decide you know is it bright is it not brighter is it darker or oh, actually it's not very very dark that way you guys also another tip that i think i can talk about most of the stores uh they have this particular uh sampling technique where if a customer comes in to buy foundation they basically gives you samples which you can apply on and you see how it's going to be you know um oxidized throughout the whole day if you don't know this when you wear a foundation there is a minimum of, of i think three hours for it to get oxidized you know oxidized it means that it's going to react with air it's very important that at least you give it three hours before you go back to the store to buy so when you go there around uh maybe seven in the morning to buy your foundation just request for a sample apply it go out work you know pass where i want to pass come back and actually tell them or actually see in the mirror that uh when it oxidizes it turns more red when it's not when it oxidizes it, it becomes more dark so it's very important to also look at it in that particular perspective okay, so currently you guys i want to give you some of the different shops that i feel especially online currently if you don't know i talked about ayocha beauty at the start ayocha beauty is such a very very wonderful place to get all your foundation and all your makeup products um the the person you are, you are going to be speaking to they have a whatsapp shop number is very very kind she will pass you through the process and you'll be able to pick a particular foundation which is going to match you respectively and on top of that they also have a lot of other uh makeup products that actually you might be interested in as i talked uh, about them earlier on at the start of this vlog then another place that i actually do recommend it is uh, it is Mlangida Jewelry Store. Mlangida Jewelry Store is a drugstore here in Kampala. This video is not sponsored in any way, but Mlangida deserves credit. And uh, I always give credit where it is due. A lot of people, I know that they don't love products from Mlangida Jewelry Store, which is very, very fine. A lot of them, a lot of people call them fake. A lot of people call them a lot of different names. But I think it comes back to you yourself. If you don't know how to, you know, check for original makeup and you don't know how fake makeup is, you are not going to be able to enjoy Mlangida Jewelry store but if you give it time and actually you learn how to pick and how to understand various shapes uh, various shades and various originality of Mlangida jewelry store you can actually do enjoy very very much uh, his products you know and uh, another place I would recommend it is called Ricky and Sisters in Chikubo very very wonderful place to pick all your drugstore foundations very 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 affordable you can also pass via there and get all your foundation shades and again remember the tips and the tricks I've been telling you about match your foundation around this area Area, match your foundation around your hairline and then you can always go into highlight if a foundation was darker you can always go into uh you know to contour if a foundation was also lighter if that makes sense by the way you guys there is also another uh, website known as foundation foundation i think i came to know about it uh from uh dimaome you know i came to know about it from her it is one website that is also very very amazing especially to find for you foundation online you just put in the foundation shades you are currently using maybe you are using mac cosmetics maybe you are using huda beauty maybe you are using you know fenty uh at least three or at least two when you insert them into when you give them all that information for the three shades they can easily match for you a foundation which is of your uh shade and actually help you get a foundation from any other brand so you can also consider that it is called foundation hopefully i'll leave the information also in the description box below 
actually you guys another tip that i can give you when it comes to foundation if you don't know the foundations that currently i'm using and i'm loving very very much there are three of them over here i'm having the tara medium coverage foundation this is very 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 good foundation for my skin tone i also have the met me foundation it's also a drugstore foundation by milan and lastly by the way i have almost four and the other one which i'm not uh, which I'm, which currently I'm not having here, which is the BB Glow Not Foundation, but this one in particular it is called Bio Detox Organic BB Foundation by Kiss Beauty. So these are my foundations that I'm currently loving and obsessed with. They give me full coverage and live for them. You guys, another tip that I would love to tell you or give to you is that people with this or, or with hyperpigmentation, I think hyperpigmentation, please try to use a foundation which is a little bit darker because you can always correct with a highlighter and people who don't have a uh, hyperpigmentation you are free if it's your shade to go in and use a slightly lighter foundation shade so another thing that i want to talk about it is uh skin undertones you know so if you don't know anything about undertones undertones are skin hues or all those colors that are under your skin so we have almost four of them we have the neutral we have the cool undertone we have the olive undertone and the warm undertone so we are going to go one by one so that you can understand uh, your undertone in cool undertone actually we have the red the blue and the pink so if you have some of those colors it means that you have a very very cool undertone for the warm undertone there you are going to have warm and gold if your skin uh, under it, underneath it there is a more of a yellow or a more of a gold color meaning that you have a very very warm undertone and if you have all of them together like pink blue blue yellow or goldish that is neutral you have a neutral undertone then if you have a green color that shows especially after you have put on your foundation underneath here it means that you have an olive undertone another tip that I can give is that if if you realize that gold jewelry looks very nice on you most of the time you have a warm undertone because remember that warm undertone actually means that you have more of the the, the yellow and the gold hues you know those skin skin color those skin skin colors that are actually you can see uh, when you put on your makeup then on top of that if you wear silver and you feel like it looks nice on you most of the time you have the neutral undertone meaning that you have all those colors together such as the pink the gold as i've mentioned them uh you know before uh, for me in particular i have a neutral undertone meaning that uh, every product that i can put on it, it shows all the colors i've talked about sometimes it shows yellow pink blue meaning that I'm, i am a person who has a neutral undertone so most of the time when i buy foundation for example from these foundations i'm having over here at the end of them they put in you know in and and meaning that even the manufacturers know that there are people who have neutral undertones the people who have cooler undertones also you can pass through your makeup you know pass through your makeup see at different bottles or different uh packages there are some of them which are going to bear the n bear the c bear any uh bear the w meaning that those different foundations are made specifically or targeted specifically for that particular uh, or for people with that particular undertone when you are going out to buy your foundation another thing i can say is that you can pump out or you can move with your foundations in your bag pump them at the back of your hand or when you are entering into a store which is very very maybe busy you can pump them at the back of your hand when you are entering then you compare with the foundation you want to buy from that store so that you can see the comparison because whenever when you have the comparison it is very easier for you to sell to the right foundation shade so i know you guys are finding your skin hue or your undertone might seem very very hard yes but again i would advise that what you should do is that you can get pictures of you and your friends and you can critically look at them you'll find out that some of your friends they have yellow at their you know around their cheek area some of them they have pink meaning that you can actually do reflect very well and know that technique of undertones try to make 
make sure that you get an, an influencer uh, or, or a person who is prominent that you love her makeup or his makeup and just try to relate. For example, as a person, um, I have people who I know that they are almost my skin shade or my skin tone uh, shade for foundations. Try to make sure that at least uh, maybe you are sick. Yeah, maybe you search, maybe you, you know, you relate. It is very, very easier for you to look at yourself in the mirror and you say, hopefully I look like this person or I'm almost a shade of this person. And I would love to know which foundations they use so that I can test uh, them out when I go to the store. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching this vlog. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share out with friends and family. Let me also know what you think of foundations in general. Let me the foundation shade you are currently wearing let me know all that gist in the comment section below let me meet you in the next vlog tanya and shylock switching out bye for now